everybody. We are here with the next prompt from Defemberember 2023. Uh, prompt is Salvaged Birds. Um, so, we're going to jump right into it. Um, as mentioned previously, I'm working in this journal that my friend Mary Ellen over at Red Parrot made for me. Um, and I've been watching a handful of folks and they're salvaged birds. I'll, let me just disclaimer and say, my space is a mess right now. A big, hairy mess. But, you know, that's what we do. We work we work around and through messes. So, um, anywho, salvaged birds. I don't know that I have a thought on this. Um, so, I think we'll just kind of... I'll try not to be all over the place. I know there's some animals throughout here. And so, oh, hmm. Hmm. Um, so, <clears throat> my initial thought was to first look through and see if there's any bird pages. Or pages that um, need a bird. Initially, that kind of scream out and speak bird to me. I have, sorry, I have glue all over my hands. I'm working on another journal here, and I'm just kind of, again, all over the place. So this is a, a piece of a calendar page. It looks like um, the bark of a tree. Would be kind of cool to add some bird stuff to that. We are not going to interrupt the, the Aurora Borealis with... Um, birds. Um, there's a cute little bear. Here's some branches and all that that could be bird-ish. We could do a salvaged bird in the sky here. This page. Um, so, that's that. Oh, and looks like we're going to have to glue this joker down. One of these days, I will just officially not trust stickers at all. No matter what, for any reason, any sticker, I will just not trust it. And while I love stickers, it might just be like, what's the point? What's the point of stick being a sticker if you don't stick to everything? Anywho, that was totally off. Um... So, my initial thought was last month, no, October, in my Artie Fartober uh, journal, which I think I have here handy, maybe, maybe, I do, um, last month I did a quote-unquote salvaged bird, it was a collaged bird, where are you? Yeah, I did these collaged crows. That's kind of what I was thinking about when I saw this prompt. Um, is to do something like that, with, given the, the goodies that Mary Ellen also sent me to work with. So I thought about that, and... There's some birds here. So that's maybe a possibility to work with. That may be a possibility to work with. Oh, there's a bird. Aw, so maybe we need to do something with him on the bark. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Ooh, and maybe we'll add some more bark because this is that weird birch bark. <laughs> okay, okay, I've, I've got a couple of thoughts in my process now, so let me just back up a minute. There's our thing, and there's our thing. Okay, let me, let's cut him out.
and uh, I wonder if we can do something like that. Okay, so now I'm feeling like I need to officially cut him out. I'm gonna keep this bark going on here. And we are going to, we're gonna just, mm, cut like that. Okay, now we're down to where we just have the bird. That lines him up with the edge of the page. Let's see if we can, let's do this. So you can see what I'm talking about. That lines him up with the edge, the tree and the bark and all that there. Hmm. I'm okay with him flapping out like that, but what else do we want to do with him? Um, and do we want to do anything with this weird bark? Just do a little collage with him. I know it's not the right kind of bark, but you get the gist. Do it up here a little bit. Oh gosh, this feels so weird. I wish y'all could feel this stuff. It's just, it's just got such a weird to it. Or I could glue him down here and use this as a tuck spot and add, make a card. Okay, we're going to make a card out of this and we'll tuck him in here. Okay, that's what we'll do. So, I want to back him. Okay, 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 okay. I like it when a plan starts to come together. brain thought here for a minute. So, do we want... <sighs> if we did something like this, this would be like an extra flip out. Or, no, okay. I was just in a thought. I needed to process through it. Make sure that's what I wanted to do or not. So I'm going to back the, the bird completely. You know what I wish I really had right now? I don't think I do, and if I do, off the top of my head, I can't envision where it's at. I wish I had some dang googly eyes. Um, don't think I do, and I just don't know where they would be if I did have, well, I have big googly eyes, but that's not, <laughs> that's too big for him. I feel like I have some other ones. I just don't know where they would be.
Okay. So we are going to make a little tuck spot out of this guy right here. So I need to need to mark where this So we can then kind of give us an idea. Let's see if I can hold it up to the light. Mm, nope. I can't hold it up to the light good enough to. Mm. Oh, here's another light over here. Okay, this kind of gives me the gist of what's going to be excuse me, on this part, which that tells me where I need to glue. <gasps> oh, goodness, I got the heat tips. I need to glue along here, and I need to glue along this bottom part. Right? Maybe? Let's put him, he's got to be at an angle because of the way that the thing lines up. <laughs> I think that's rather funny. Yeah, I'm okay with it flapping out like this. You know, it doing its own little thing okay and so this will be a little tuck spot and so now we need to make a card of some sort with this guy and what else can we use maybe that <sighs> what else can we use? I'd like something kind of red. Oh, look at there. Uh, mainly because the bird has a red head. See if there's anything worth. There's a bird we could have played with. There's some birds we could have played with. Okay. So I think we will do a card. It's just such a weird texture. I'm not used to it. I'm just not used to it. I think I want to do like red. Let me see my red sash. What I have. I have red. And I think I want to kind of 
tear this to where it's more I'm not curling up right there. Yeah, it's more flat. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's start by gluing this weird stuff down. No offense, Mary Ellen or Cindy or any of you other Canadian ladies that, um, oh, do I want it that color? Hmm, no, I think that really tells you what it is. Um, that are not, a, you know, not offended by the feel of this stuff, but I am. It's just weird to me. It's just one of those weird things. I I just can't imagine, like, if I'm standing in front of a tree and, like, rubbing my hand. Ugh. That would cause me cringe really bad. And I can only imagine that that's really what they feel like. Because if this is a real piece of bark, I just couldn't imagine. Not that people, you know, like, not that normal people rub their hands along a tree, but maybe we do that down here in the south. Maybe, just maybe we do. I've got a little piece left and I'll hang on to it. Oh, it's so hard to press down <laughs> and rub because it just feels so weird. If you've never felt a birch bark, I suggest you do that just to feel what it feels like. It, it feels like it leaves a residue on my hands. I know it don't. I mean, I've got glue and paint all that on my hands, but it feels like it do. Okay, let's trim this up. I feel like it needs something else. I don't know what, but something, 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 something. Knocking around the corners. We're going to try not to do that. What else does it need, y'all? Let's see if there is a... Not all good things are wild and free. Maybe. I don't want to do too much on it because my pocket's not, it's not the biggest. It's just kind of a, a legit tuck spot, so. What do birds, what, 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 what goes with the birds? Uh-oh. Dropping stuff. Um. What goes with the birds? You know what I'm thinking? You know what I'm thinking? What I'm thinking? What I'm thinking? I wonder if. Do 
do you, do you, do you, I'm talking to you like you're right here and you can answer me. Okay, sticker book that don't stick. I am searching for a certain something. And I'm wondering if it's, we could do some bugs. I'm wondering if it's just one of those things that I've seen before somewhere and I'm like, hmm. I think, but now that I'm thinking about the logic behind it, I'm, so I was thinking that, um, somewhere I've seen some worms, but woodpecker, he probably pecks more along for bugs. So maybe this bug, where did the bugs go? Maybe these two little bugs are what we need to use. Let's peel these off and set them aside. Maybe we'll decorate with bugs. I was thinking somewhere there was, um, uh, worms, but I couldn't remember where in my stash I saw that. And so my, my brain was kind of processing two or three different things. But I'm thinking... That's a big bug, but he's too big for that card. Is he? Is he too big for that card? Mm, not kind of big. Let's see here. There's some birds. There's an eel. Um, anyways, I was thinking of a worm. There's some bugs. Those look more realistic. Um, but I couldn't remember. Maybe I'm thinking of these snakes and things like that that I've seen in here. Butterflies. Okay, I think we're going to go with that. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm doing like five different trains of thought right now. And so, um, I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> okay, back to the bugs on the bark um, for this little guy. down the bugs for sure actually let me trim them a little bit we can get a little closer to them I was watching my friend Cindy at Studio Lou today. She was working on her defemerember piece. She was talking about fussy cutting, how she should have done her fussy cutting off camera and all that. Of course, she's she's one of the cool kids. She does all the editing and all that. And um, anywho. Uh, she was saying she, she didn't feel like people probably really wanted to sit and watch her fussy cut. But, you know, there are some weirdos out there, me, who kind of like that stuff. So, don't feel like you don't... I, I To me, it's very... Watching people craft, like, doing like this, just sitting and crafting whether it's working on a specific project or whether it's just cutting paper or throwing paint down on a paper or fussy cutting or 
whatever. There is a certain something about it that is educational. You know, you never know what people pick up on you know, when you're doing something, you never know what people see and how people see things. And I think that's true in a lot of things in life, but I think it's also very true amongst artists. Uh, I think as creatives, we are always open to... Our, I think our mind is legitimately always open. And we are open to inspiration in any form. And so, to watch people craft and create and cut and color and paint and play and get messy and mess up and, you know, I think there is a certain level of education in that for other creatives. And I also personally find it very relaxing and I also personally find it very assuring. Uh, maybe assuring is not the word that I'm looking for. It makes me realize I'm not alone. And it makes me realize I'm not a weirdo for thinking I should cut that a little bit closer or that... This bird needs to hang off this page, or this birch bark feels funny. You know, it. all those things don't make me a weirdo. You know, because I see other people who have, you know, that craft along, and they're, um, they may have a certain issue with the way something looks, or the way something's doing, or whatever. And I was trying to do a background of some sort, but I really do think this green background kind of really blends with these bugs this birch stuff really nicely i wonder if i should seal that yeah we're gonna go with it and i think i'm just gonna go with look at me sticking this down thinking it's gonna stick Hoy. Um, mm -mm -mm, what was I saying? So, for those of you who do craft videos, um, and, and your video may just be you cut, fussy cutting, or you glue in a page, or you fold in paper, or, you know, just chatting along as you create, please know that... There are some people out there who like that. I am one of those people. It's relaxing. It's comforting. It's enjoyable. It's sometimes very funny. Um, <laughs> uh, and I, I can admit that sometimes I watch some videos and some people at a higher speed. At 1.25 or 1.5. Um just depending on the person and, and the video and all that. But, um, <laughs> I just so happen to have Cindy's on, and sometimes I forget to take it off that speed and I, I may be watching somebody and I've said this to Mary Ellen before I've accidentally had her on like 1.2 speed or whatever. And it was on a video that she was really excited and she was doing something. And, and I was, I was thinking to myself, calm down, calm down. What are we doing? You know, it was, it was getting me excited, but it was because I had her on an, a higher speed than I normally do. And which made her, you know, come off really excited. Any, anyways, that's what happened today is that I had, um, a higher speed on, uh, cause of another video I had been watching and I was watching Cindy. I started watching Cindy at Studio Lou, her video. And she, she was, she wasn't really wrestling with it, but she was cutting this plastic, um, you know, that plastic container that you, um, you get stamps in sometimes, the wooden stamps in sometimes. It's, it's good plastic. Um, but she was cutting it, trying to make use of it. And, oh, the noise and the, it was, 
she said calamity right as I was typing a comment to say, woo, you know, we're all over the place with that. But anyways, all that to be said, sometimes these videos are, you know, watching you guys create. Sometimes things are really funny. <laughs> Give me a laugh. So, yeah. So don't think that, that your videos are not appreciated and that people don't watch your video or people don't want to see you cutting this or gluing this or folding this or don't don't think that because because there are people out there that do so anywho um we salvaged this little woodpecker today from some scraps that mary ellen had sent me we're gonna leave this back part alone just know he's there and whatever comes of this page will come of this page with an extra side piece um and so yeah we salvaged this little woody woodpecker and you know i don't have googly eyes but we're gonna try something i probably should not do this we're gonna give him some character oh that looks creepy we gotta give him some we need this to dry real quick so we can black his eye give him a pupil or whatever I wonder what, I'm just kind of wondering. I'm just doodling. I was just curious as to how a Sharpie felt on this birch stuff. So I was just curious. Anywho, um, back to this. Oh, still not dry yet. Okay. Let's get you good and dry, Mr. Bird Eye. I don't have a googly eye, but we're going to do the be next best thing. I would think if I had a googly eye, would it be in my checker box? Where would it be? I just don't think I have any. I just don't think I do, because I just don't know where they would be if I did have them. Unless they're up on my inspiration wall. Nope. Oh, I have a feather up there. It's a really pretty feather. Let me see here. Look at this pretty feather. Can you guys see it? Anywho. Um, no googly eyes that I see. Usually, I have this big bulletin board on my wall over there. Oh, man. And when I come across something that I fall in love with or that I don't know what to do with or that I want to keep or whatevs, if it don't go in any of my other stashy spots or if it means something to me, then I'll... Um, Tack it to that bulletin board. And I would think if I had a random, I feel like I have a random little package of googly eyes, but I don't. I, if I do, I don't know where they're at. Anywho. Um, that's where I think I would put them, is I would poke them up on that wall. Okay. Little, little bird. How about that? Kind of looks like a googly eye. That's as close as we can get to a googly eye without a googly eye. Anywho, we salvaged that little bird. And you know what? Just for grins, I feel like my head's in the way, but I'm going to give him some, some eyelashes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but Give him some eyelashes. So there you go. I am, um, again, I was really inspired by um, this, this, I say again, it's not like I've mentioned it in this video, but I was really inspired the other day by the Half-Ass Crafter um, and her 
magazine collage and her doodling on them afterwards. And so that's kind of where that's coming from. Anywho, um, we are going to call this a salvaged bird. And we are going to call it done for prompt number five, salvaged birds. Although we just have one bird, so he's he's a bird, singular. Um, that's what we got for Defemberember 2023. Hashtag Defemberember, and you can see what everybody else is doing because there is a lot of folks participating. Um, I, again, am kind of just working through this, not in any particular day. I've got a lot going on this month. And um, so, I, d I don't know if I'll be back tomorrow or the next day or what. But the next time I see you guys for Defemberember, we will be dealing with a selfie in a bubble. And, oof, I got a thought about that. But we'll have to, we'll have to see what that's all about. Anywho, um, thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching me. Do all the youtube -y things. Like, subscribe, um, share the video, all that good stuff. Comment. I will certainly uh, respond. And um, we will see you guys next time. Bye for now.